To change the name, right click on the tab Rename. To change the color of the tab, right click Tab Color. To change the row height, select the row, right click Row Height. To vertically center the column headings, select the row, middle align, or vertically center. To freeze these column headings so that they will be visible when you scroll down, select the row below, view, freeze panes. These pens. And as I scroll down, they remain visible. I'm going to go to the bottom of this worksheet now to do calculations. Here, I need to calculate the number of times that recycling was brought in. Equals formulas insert function. I'm going to use the function count A, because that counts the number of cells in a range that are not empty. OK. Select the range all the way to the top. There we are. The average kilogram equals average, open bracket, and here is the weight in kilogram. Select. I'm just going to display two places after the decimal. So round. Open bracket. And in Office 2016, I do not use the comma. Nope. I use that. And I want two places up decimal point. Close bracket. The highest kilogram would be equals max. Open bracket. There's the range. And the second highest kilogram would be equals, and the function is large. That's the range. Make sure you get the correct range. And I want the second highest. Correct. Now I must use conditional formatting in this column to indicate which weights are more than 10 kilos. So select it. Conditional formatting. Conditional formatting rules greater than 10. And I must shade these cells any light blue color. Custom format. OK. Fill light blue. There. Now I'm going to go down to that cell. Here I need to calculate the number of times grade 8 have brought recycling in. I'm going to use the function count if. Now count if. How many times grade 8 has brought in recycling? That is correct. Now over here, I need to calculate the total kilogram that the different grades have brought in. I need to use the function sum if. The range is a grade. The criteria 
is the value which is in that cell. And I'm going to add the kilogram range. There we are. That was the range of the grade there, D column, criteria, that was, criteria was that, and then the sum range that I was adding up. Now this is fine to do for one grade, but when you've got to do it a number of times for the different grades, you need to work smartly and quickly. I'm going to make that range an absolute reference by press, selecting it and pressing F4. And I want to make that range absolute, select it and press F4. They are absolute, but when I pull down, the criteria I was looking for is not absolute, it's relative. Absolute, relative, absolute. There we are. Now I need to get the total equals sum. I'm going to add that. Correct. Now, all the learners who have brought more than 10.5 kilos qualify for a prize. I'm going to use a function if if they brought more than 10.5 kilos, they qualify for a prize. If, if that cell is greater than 10.5, then they will get a prize. And I'm going to have prize with a capital P. And if they haven't brought that, they're going to get nothing. Let me scroll down. Yes, that was below 10.5, that's above 10.5. Good. Now, over here, I need to qualify the number of learners who qualify for prize. I'm going to use the function count if. And I'm going to look at the prize column. And we're going to look if they have the word prize. I put prize in quotation marks because it's text. Correct, they're 12. Now the school gets money in for the paper. We need to work out how much each learner is bringing in. We're going to say that multiplied by that amount. And I'm going to make that amount fixed. Select it, press F4. And I'm going to pull this down. We will now be able to see how much each learner has contributed to recycling. 